Hello and welcome to part 9 of my quick socket IO tutorial. Uh, in this part we are going to talk about user sessions. Uh, a user session is uh, often useful uh, as a way to store information that is specific to each client. So uh, you will be able to uh, to store data and then uh, anytime you uh, you get an event from uh, from the client you can recover that data uh, so python socket io will keep track of this information uh, for each of the connected clients so what we are going to do uh, now to demonstrate this is um, this username that now the server is receiving from the client we are going to write it to the user session so that we can remember this username later when other events from from a given uh, from a given client occur. So uh, here in the connection handler, uh, once we are past the authentication check and we know that we have a username, we are going to write this username to to the user session for this client. So. Uh, for this, we use a context manager. Uh, so we open the user session for uh, for the user uh, for or for the client given by the SID value that we received. And here, session is uh, is, is is a dictionary, so we can write any uh, any key value uh, pairs that we'd like to be remembered for this client. So we can say session username is equal to username. And this is how we uh, we store this username in the session. Um, so what we can do also, uh, just just to see that everything is working, we can uh, we can emit a, uh, a broadcast, we can do a broadcast uh, letting every connected client know that this user has connected. So uh, we can say um, user joined and we can pass here the, the username as an argument. Uh, we we don't pass any uh, any value for the two argument because this is going to go to everyone, so this is a broadcast. So then we can do the uh, the corresponding thing when when the user is disconnected. So here in the disconnect handler, after we do all our previous things, we can say. Once again, from the session, uh, we can say user left, and we do another broadcast. We let everyone uh, everyone know that now the user has left the system. And here we have session username, uh, which, as I mentioned before, we, we set it in the connect handler. But anytime we open the user session for for this SID, we uh, we can access this information, and and of course we we keep a, a different set, uh, a different dictionary per client connection, so uh, so they never mix up. Um, so there we go. Uh, so now in the client we need to add the user joined and user left events. So. Let's open the client and let's add a couple more events. User joined. The argument is the username. And here we say uh, user has joined. And then another similar one for user left Oops. and we 
we can say has left. There we go. And let's see how this works. So now I'm going to log in as Miguel. And you can see here that I have received my own uh, my own broadcast. So let's do another one. Let's use Alice. So here we have user Alice has joined and this one has also received the Alice broadcast. Let's do one more with Bob. And here is Bob and here is Bob as well. So now if Alice goes away, we have you can see that the name was remembered. So so now we can do things by uh, by username instead of by uh, by the SID, which sometimes is not really that uh, representative of uh, of a user. Uh, 